There's something you might have noticed about Adobe Reader recently, and that is the fact that it's become a bit too chatty. Things pop up on the screen, especially when you first loaded it, but you've also got an all tools bar normally on the left hand side of the screen. So how do you get Adobe Reader to be a little bit more quiet? How do you stop all these pop up boxes from coming up? And how do you get rid of this all tools bar down the left hand side? We're going to show you how. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. As I say today, we are going to show you how you can get rid of all these little pop up boxes, these hint boxes from Adobe that you really don't want. Plus, we're going to show you how you can get rid of this all tools bar down the left hand side, which, OK, it's got a lot of stuff in it, but all of this stuff you need to have a subscription to Adobe for. And on some screens, it really does interfere with the PDF document that you're trying to read. So first of all, let's let's look at how we get rid of that. So we click on menu just up there in the top left hand corner of the screen, go down to preferences, just down on that list there, left click once and then go into documents just there on the left under categories. Then you'll see this option just here. Remember last state of the all tools pane when opening documents. Now put a tick in there, then click on OK. And then what we need to do is we need to click on the cross just to the right of all tools to close that down. And now it will remember that we'd close that down. And if we come out of Adobe, and then if we just go back into it, let's just open up this. As you'll see, now we're getting these hints, but let's just go through these hints and just get rid of them for the moment. And let's just OK that. But as you can see, even more hints are coming up. This is what I'm talking about. So this is the next thing we're going to turn off, but I'm going to come to that in a minute. So let's just close this down. OK, so as you can see now, there we go. The all tools has disappeared. I mean, I can click on that there and it will come back, but I just have to remember to click on the cross to close it down and it will remember the last time we used it, it was closed. And if we go back into it, there you go. It remains closed and opens up our screen. So how do we get rid of all those pop ups? Well, those aren't going to come up now for a little while, but they will come back. So let's just click on the menu at the top left hand corner of the screen again and then click on preferences just there, just down the list. And then we need to go into general and then a bit further down, we've got their messages from to Adobe. So take the tick out of show me messages when I launch Adobe Acrobat. And another thing we might it might be an idea to put a tick in is don't show messages whilst viewing a document. And then we've got to remember, we've got to click on OK at the bottom of the screen. And now hopefully all those pop up messages should disappear. And there's another thing I've noticed keeps appearing, this Ask AI Assistant at the bottom of the screen. Now, if you want to get rid of that, then just again, click on menu in the top left hand corner of the screen and then go down to preferences again. Click on that and then we want to go into and then we want to go into generative AI and take the tick out of all three of these boxes here. And if there's a tick in enable generative AI features in Acrobat, take the tick out of that too. Then click on OK. Now you'll notice it's still there, but what we need to do is we need to restart Adobe. So come out of it, go back into it again. And there you go. As you can see, that bar has now gone. Now, if you've got any other hints and tips to remove other things from Adobe, other annoying features, then please let us know in the comments down below. It would be good to hear from you. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help 
help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.